Every, the Spotify deal, like yeah. how are y'all even making jokes about the Spotify deal? Y'all you know, don't even know what the deal is. Dude, I don't know I, if you remember they had a COVID episode when like uh Gilly the Kids podcast was going on. I don't know if you know Gilly the Kid, the million dollars oh, worth of yeah. game. And they had like they were talking about like someone on there was pretty much like he they were he was like their parks of the million dollars where he was like he, he had the studio and everything and the end he was a co-host on the show. And anyways, they got a deal from Barstool that was like million, like two, three million dollars or something. And they were trying to pay, uh, what's his name, that that guy only like 50K a year. And he left. He was like, I'm not doing that shit or whatever. But anyways, they talked about that on Joe Bunn's podcast one day, talking about get your business in order type of shit like that or whatever. 50K? So, yeah. I mean, uh, 50K uh, for no. what, one day a week of work or two one days day a week of work? Is, it's not a true. lot. It is kind that of That is bad. true. Yeah, yeah, like, 50- no, real quick. No, no, like, I didn't know it was one day, one day a week. Or even thinking, thinking, yeah. these niggas doing a podcast. Yeah, like but, I mean, Joe Buttons is two days a week, but just thinking about that one day of work a week for fifty k a year is fucking nothing. Like if you really think about it, like fucking easy. But but I'm saying like the thing with um with Maul though, like he had like you know what I'm saying like he comes from a family that you know what I'm saying is is established in the game, like you know what I'm saying in the industry and shit like that. So I don't see why like. He didn't really see this shit coming. Like, maybe it was just, like, more of, like, a trust thing. He was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? We've done this many episodes together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe or whatever. But at the end of the day, like, there should never be a contract that you don't read. It's not like even, It's not that. It's the fact that they were asking for information and weren't getting it. And it's because it is it is the Joe Bunn podcast, whatever. But <laughs> hey, oh, look who it is. Mr. Oh. Q, the guy so is you gonna, can't go up to your manager and be uh, like, yo, nigga, let's list the numbers. Yeah, in a way, you What's can up, only because he's been doing it for some. I'm not mad at Rory doing it. It's just, oh so man, like, here we go. Oh, now, it, it, now I dived in the right part. And, oh man, I, I <laughs> think, breaking it down. No, he overplayed his hand. He overplayed his hand. You think so? I mean, I think, like, I think there's truth to what Joe is saying as far as like, I, I took all the risk, I'm funding everything, I'm doing it's all of this, that, or whatever. Like, that I get is that. the dub alone. But bro. I get, I do like, and I understood what he was saying about Maul when he was kind of like, Maul, like, you could have, I've been pushing you to do your own show. To Ooh. take care of the merch and shit like that, and like you didn't do it, and I was like, okay, everything you said about Rory though, like Rory asking how much money you get. Personally, I'm with Rory there. Like Rory does want to know. Rory's kind of more of an open book. Like, yo, how much money are we making? Like, I've been here since. We've had conversations, and you even like, said that you're not with, with niggas with pocket watching. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Who? No, no. You're We've not, had th- conversations, if, and you uh, agreed that you don't like when niggas pocket watching. If, if you're, if we, if we're working this podcast right now, and we get a deal, I'm not gonna be like DeAndre. Yo, just pay me however much out of this, okay? Like I'm gonna want to know what the fuck that deal is. You see no, but saying? that's but it's a weird no. though because it's like this whole thing is a different situation compared to like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think I think the like, biggest lesson out of that was more so you are what you put in. Like that determines your worth. And what he was claiming there is the <laughs> only thing you only thing you're putting up is your personality driven and you're just you're just going to show up every day. That's not enough. Like It's it's more like you're you are like all right, so first off, like if you're here off the jump, you know, off jump, like if he was there from day 1 and then he helped negotiate like, "Hey, can I get a piece of, you know, this podcast off rip?" that didn't happen then when they get the next or initial contract that doesn't happen now it's like yo, but you were inquiring like you know the initial con- initial thing they were doing they were just getting like fucking sponsorships right like the random mm-hmm. shit like hymns and shit whatever they got a little couple hundred there and then when they get a spotify deal i guess they get a cut but they didn't specify what the cut was and i know that was maybe a point of contention after that like it's kind of like okay this patreon thing didn't say anything about rory and maul it says joe budden is the creative director of patreon and then he puts these two new co-hosts in. I'm understanding that Joe's kind of saying, like, I put all the risk in. This is my business. Like I said, the main lessons for me was that you can't just be like, I'm going to show up to the podcast and just show up. And that's it. That's all. Like, that's not no. enough. Like, no. obviously, Parks is paid well. Obviously, even Savon, everything they do is actually, like, furthering the actual thing. They're not just coming on to talk. Like, he literally proved to you he can bring two other people to fill in the seat and people will like them. So you are disposable at that point. I get what he's saying there. I do. I do see what he's saying. But it was. It was, he was kind of showing his ass with like him hating on Rory. It looked like he was trying to like he really wants to fight him. And I kind of. I'm rolling well, with no. Rory low key there. I want to know what happened because I mean it got a little spicy because like what about like 40 minutes in he was talking about how somebody that they both love and care about wanted to step in and be like, hey yo, what's up with Rory and this whole hands thing and 
hearing Joe say I had to get in between that, but hey, we're not doing that here. I was like, oh, all right. Well, I, I, I think, believe it though. <laughs> I, I think, I think, I mean, I think everything can be true though. I, I, but I, the thing is, Rory hasn't really like defended himself, and even with him saying like, like you can see a lot of Joe's backtracking even in his rant today. He was talking about like fucking. He was like, yo, I only told you took to take two days off. He didn't. He literally said, yo, do me a favor, don't come in for the next couple pods, like. That's not okay. saying take two pods off. That's not saying three. That's not saying anything. It's just, I, you know, don't come in until we figure something out. Like, it's like those semantic games he plays where I'm kind of like, I do catch the yeah. shit you do, but, you know, I'm, I understand what you're saying at the same time. Like, yeah, that is a semantic. He's wrong, but, right? The same but, time. Yeah, but a co- I mean, couple is definitely two. Me, that's two. Like, don't take six yeah, pods but, off, six weeks but off. That, but at the end of the day, like, we don't know what Rory said because he, if he said, yo, don't take take a couple pods off, and then y'all are saying, you're taking, you're taking, you're taking therapy. Like, it was so, he was really showing his ass. He was really telling, like, I'm not, I'd do real therapy with Maul, not that bullshit I do with Rory. I'm like, son, I don't know the tears of therapy. Yeah, now that, like, that, the that fuck, I was like, like, don't, don't bash the therapy, nigga. If we went to therapy together, that's a real thing where we're actually yeah, trying to like, work on something. I would, I'll get you, I'll give you that. I wasn't with when he was bashing that. Nah, I didn't I like his bash, I didn't like his bashing of Rory whatsoever. I felt like, and it sounded like he wanted to fight Rory, but he was like willing to make amends with Maul. And I didn't like that either. I'm like, yo, Maul kind of was the one showing you the most smoke, if anything, too. He was saying, I don't fuck with you. And here you are trying to be like, Maul, me and you've been through XYZ if you ever choose to come back, but Rory, you're done. I'm scared of Maul. Because like, Maul's like, black. I don't know. I, I think Maul I think has ties. <laughs> Rory <laughs> invited him to his hands. That's all it was. Like, so yeah, that's true. Invited to his hands. Like, don't don't do that, bro. But like at the end of the day, like the reason why we don't hear none of this stuff from Rory is because Rory is Rory. Well, I mean, Rory is... podcast, we more than likely would not have heard of you besides um the whatever uh, that, emotional what origins. Emotional origins. The, 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 the Palooza. Palooza yeah, shit. do say Palooza. 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 He does do say Palooza. Shit. But even then, like, still, your whole brand, your whole personality, that shit comes from Joe Budden Podcast. So now you're going to have to build up your own entity. I don't know what you're going to do. But he hopefully said, he, can use that, he can use that clip from the podcast. Apparently, Joe saying that shit can... Um, and, bro, that's, that's, uh, no, and that's that another bullshit. thing that that nigga that was Joe bullshit. was saying, too. If, right. that was if he's saying, like, yo, hey, make y'all own joint, cause, and, that, and that's what I was with him, too, where it's like, I mean, even when you're on YouTube, where a lot of times where I got my shit from, you're on Joe Budden TV. That's it. Yeah. Now, hearing him say, yo, hey, man, y'all make your own YouTube. We can chop up the clips. I'll give y'all the clips. Is that there? Y'all can do your own thing and spread your own, you know, fan base and all that other shit. Like, I mean, I was with him on that where I'm mm. like, yo, if he gave you the window and opportunity for all that shit, and like nah. you said, the whole, you know, love of mall thing, like you said, the merch thing. Yeah. That, that- Rory, those are two things though. Like, I think they could have done their own show, like their own spinoff thing, or they could have done like, like you know, jo- Ro- Mall do the fucking for the love of Mall or whatever, or take care of the merch. Um, as far as the YouTube clips, that kind of surprised me. He said they didn't get paid at all for YouTube whatsoever. That's that was a little, crazy. That's no, a little that's crazy. YouTube goes, bro. YouTube is a bitch, bro. YouTube, yeah, but you but, have to edit all of your clips down to get into to a like an. A, but yeah, but not get flagged. The like clips you're it. the clips you're showing on the Joe Bun podcast. The clips are from my likeness. Like you're showing me saying a funny thing that got a bunch of clicks or something I said or a story I mm. I presented or some on shit. On the podcast and only, that I own, oh, yeah, on exactly. My YouTube so, channel that so I own. There's that, and that's what I'm saying. I thought it was surprising <laughs> that he didn't get paid. So his his solution to say you can take the footage from my YouTube and re-upload it to your own YouTube and get money off of that. That's but, fucking but, backwards as hell. But, like, but that don't not, make any sense. Like, my thing no, is, it's not re- like, but it's not re-uploading if you're going to take it, and then you get to mix and master your own clips. That's okay. what I'm going to say. But Nobody said we had to use like, the same clip, but, but boy, like, case literally- in point, like, that, like, the joint where, um, and I know you are a heavy fan, niggas, you know what episode I'm talking about, when Rory did the joke about the, um, the radio joint. Yeah. That yeah, joint was but, hilarious. Now, yeah. Rory would have cut that joint and made it his own joint, and yeah, a but couple of you know, like we're saying, bunch, old, you pro- we're saying but my, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just saying, like, in general, like, you can't just rely on that podcast, bro. You can't rely on Joe Budden, anyways. Mm-hmm. Like, 
None of this stuff is surprising, right? So why are you over here like that's a, surprised? Like, nigga, I'm get sorry. your exit plan. Always have your exit plan, bro. No, I, I agree with like, that. And I, I like that Rory has his own side ventures. Like, he had Duce Plus. He has his, like, tour with Emotional Orange. He's working on an album. He's still working with fucking G-Unit and shit. shot money and shit. So he actually has at his own business. He's worked at Sony. with Jim Jones. So, but, yeah, like, all, like that's on the, all that's on the back, you know what I'm saying, the back end of the music industry. But I'm sure you're already a personality. You want to still be a personality because that's and, where the money's really at. And I don't think they were short for money in any way my only thing was like with this youtube thing like one we've seen way other people fucking clip up the shit out of everything joe Bun puts out because they are the most popular podcast out period and they fucking like there's like two three people that literally have like mashups of joe Bun clips Love so if you have yeah yeah if you have the fucking joe button putting out clips and then you have these mashup people that putting out mad clips that's literally all they do is putting out fucking clips of joe button you really think it's a realistic venture to tell uh rory rory that yo just take my footage and put it back right. up on your own YouTube? About, i don't think so i think you could have gave him a cut like maybe a small portion out of the youtube clips that's my opinion I, though but, but I, nah. what if you it's his youtube channel son that's like what yeah. if but i made my selling- separate youtube channel from this no, son, you, this is my YouTube channel. You're selling, you're, you're selling content from my likeness. Like if I'm, if you're selling something from a discussion I made, like something I'm putting into this, Boy. I should get a cut. I'm not saying I deserve the whole thing. I feel like I should get a portion of that. That's not like, Boy, that's not you, a high demand. It's literally not negotiating <laughs> your contract. Though. You know what I'm saying? It's literally not negotiating your contract that you deserve to get a piece. Or I, I essentially can do whatever I want with your likeness on my podcast. Because you can, you, you can, and if you want to wave your dick and keep saying I'm the boss and this is mine, mine, <laughs> mine, of course you can do that. No one's debating that. That's why I'm saying I understand that like Joe Biden's taking that stance of like, yo, this is my business at the end of the day. Like I'm everything he said on like one episode, I think the last episode he said before this, he was like, yo, everything in my life led to here. Me being a failed rapper, failed loving hip hop star, all that shit led to being here. I get that. He's the one that's being the most transparent about everything. I get everything. It. So when you have like these two co-hosts that you've developed and you've de- like you, people buy into this podcast because of y'all chemistry, like it's your enthusiasm for one another that we like and we like seeing y'all talk. So if that oh, shit's gosh. gone, we don't we don't really care to see the podcast. So if you're selling clips based on things that are based off our stories and our history and everything going along together, you don't think that I deserve a portion of that like I'm, I'm of course you can do what you want a king can do whatever the fuck he wants to do but you're saying that the thing that i provided to this platform isn't worth shit that only i should benefit from this because i incepted the idea that this should even be a thing i don't, his, I don't I, think so like, I, I see what you're coming from but i think we're so, like i think at that point you're talking we're, we're back to that business and friendship conversation yeah, okay. yeah. And, i think it's back to like just business is his youtube channel part of the joe button business uh, or is that separate from but, his but actual I, business? Is yeah, that his own thing or is it part of the business? business? Like everything from Joe Button TV is literally fucking Joe Button podcast. And they should be clips. getting paid from either way. So it's part saying, of the business. Like, they're getting paid through the business. And it's not like they're not getting paid. That's not the discussion. But the idea that someone hmm, really? that's selling YouTube clips is not getting a cut from it at all, that's a little bizarre to me. It's more so like, damn, like, because I think to me, honestly, that was the biggest shock. Like when I watched it, I was like, damn, they don't get any yeah, YouTube. But, but, but that's, that's, but that's that how one day I was like, yeah. But I maybe because like I've seen so many of diff- these different like sort mm-hmm. of like same business yeah. and all the shit like YouTube like niggas be on YouTube channels right and they'll be behind mm. an entire production company right but they're hired by the production company so at the end of the day you're getting paid a salary f- from that production company to make those YouTube videos but you're not gonna make consistent revenue off of them clips you know for however time you know whatever the time is going to be because at the end of the day that's where the real money's at that's just yeah. like getting and a percentage of the movie fund you know like the movie revenue or whatever the fuck like i, I, think, it was, reckon, mm-hmm. really I think it was, was a, i think it was important for everyone to fucking actually watch that episode i mean we all record a podcast and you've seen probably the dopest podcast literally come to an end personally mm-hmm. at least speaking like that i think it's something like take note of my main thing takeaway was you kind of are what you put into your podcast at the hey end man of the we day. went like, to go see it. them together man I know. So I got the shirt from that day. I know. I got I the- see you rocking. Mine's up hanging in the closet. I thought I put it on, but I'm sad. Yeah, I was really sad today. That shit hurt. It really, really hurt me. I was like, son, man, like that's the end of an era. Like I think I, I think I got onto it 2017. That's when I like first heard the podcast. I'd say like when he was on Everyday Struggle. I watched every episode from then. And like I watched the old episodes too, but I started 2017. So I was like. Say. Around the 100 and like, you know, 20 ish or somewhere around that range. Yeah, I was definitely on. Because initially, my boy from Toys R Us put me on. We was like, you know, managers in that joint. He's like, yo, you heard of Joe Button? I was like, 
I'm about to pump it up, nigga. He was like, yeah, man, he got a podcast. It's pretty funny. I was like, man, whatever. Blow it up, bro. I remember I smoked one time. I was like, man, they put this shit on. Hilarious. From, yeah, nah. I mean, from start to finish. And I was like, yo, this is gold. Yeah, I had to ease my way in because I used to see them make fun of people like Chanel West Coast or something. I was like, see like a clip of that. But that's what I'm saying. When I would mm. see clips of that, that introduced me into it. I literally sat and watched like a two, three hour episode. I'm like, holy shit. I really sat and listened to Joe Budden, who yeah. I watch on Everyday Struggle, a two hour episode. Like, I really sat through this and look at me now. That's like, when and- you know, yeah, like <laughs> that's when you really turn into a fan is when you look at it from the outside. Like, dude, who the fuck is watching these guys talk for three hours, yeah. whatever? Then you sit through and watch it. It's like, yo, three hours just went by, and this was some good ass shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then that's that's good content right there. And mm-hmm. it, it changed the whole like idea of like, damn son, like you know, when you think about it, them getting a Spotify deal, like that's crazy. Like you got people locking into their seats and shit for three hours. It's not listening to a song for three minutes. That's like, that's a lot of fucking time you're giving. And a lot right of there. things like, that those niggas did kind of yeah. changed the whole platform and everything for this whole podcast thing, man. From yeah. Spotify to getting tips uh yeah. you know and all that i mean not tips so much but to you know do that separate you know shit and all yeah. that because now everybody wants to do exclusive tips and mm. you know pay for the subscription uh subscriptions and all that shit like it's uh, it's, un- it's undeniable joe Bun's the like the most entertaining maybe the driving force of that podcast but it's also undeniable that it was the three of their or four of their chemistry better yet that made that shit work like it it flowed naturally it made you feel like you was part of the room and everything like that like they were just <laughs> They were naturally funny. Like, it just was something that worked so well. So, I think the main people turning on Joe Budden is, are his fans, like me. Like, I'm, I'm still watched, yeah. but no, it true. fucking true. sucks. Like, his main his main core fans are the ones that are hurt by this because it's like, yeah. son, you showed your ass today. And the like, thing, all right, and, and I'm going to leave it at this, and this is what pisses me off. Even if it was about, like, wanting a share or wanting something of it, fam, if y'all couldn't see that the fact that I mean, mind you, don't get it wrong. I mean, you know what? They still got the two chick joints, the Karen Silva and that, and then that other chick was at the. But the, the, the do you remember the one of the girl ones? Like one of the girl co-hosts left on that. Olivia, shit too. Uh, yeah, Olivia, Olivia um, she yeah. was she was cute as hell. She yeah, I hit that. Like that she was fine. Oh, yeah, but she, oh shit, we're recording. Damn it, God damn it. Are we really recording? <laughs> this nigga, look at the top left, nigga. <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> don't, <know. laughs> don't fucking record me if I didn't say I don't want to be recorded. Ooh. Huh? If I didn't say I huh? don't want to be You just literally have <laughs> a double <laughs> negative. Bro. Double gotcha, nine. bitch. Gotcha, <laughs> 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 bitch. He basically just said, please record me. Gotcha, bitch. Look at him. You 